Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm the Kays, and today we're going to be talking about the sound of the hydrogen engine. So, Toyota have just released footage of a Toyota Corolla with 1.6 litre three cylinder, possibly sourced from the GI Yaris, um, being fuelled by hydrogen. Take a listen to this. It sounds mega, and considering it's almost carbon neutral, that means it sounds like it would be a ton of fun. Though this is a prototype, so obviously the 1.6 free pot has been adapted to use hydrogen fuel, and the only thing you'll be getting out of the exhaust is water, which is pretty fun actually. It sounds very meaty and growly. It would have no catalytic converters or restrictors or a particular filter or anything like that. So it's probably a straight for exhaust. That's probably why it sounds so good. No straight six or V8 rumbles as of yet, but we could see that in the future. Imagine like an LS600H with its five liter V8 reborn hydrogen powered internal combustion engine. Mad, isn't it? Just to think about. And that's what could keep combustion engines alive, really. The only thing that I will say is, the reason why it's not quite carbon neutral is the fact that the oils um, being produced into the engine, uh, you know, to keep it all lubricated and stuff like that, produce some sort of emissions. So it would be so low, it would probably be, you know, under 50 grams per kilometer or something like that. I'm not an expert, but I'm just giving my little estimation. And apparently the characteristics of this engine are very similar to a petrol powered or diesel powered motor. Power delivery hasn't been stated yet, but we could identify that it would be quite similar to a regular engine. Obviously with Toyota they brought out the Mirai and you can check out my video that in the link in the description below. Um, but that is sort of like a more softer, more comfortable, luxurious experience. But you could imagine they're testing this in the Corolla, possibly to have an alternative to a GR product, perhaps powered with hydrogen. We also don't know what hydrogen would do to the actual power output, either or torque or anything like that. But um, I would imagine that it doesn't really affect much. Range would also be uh, cheaper per mile, but the only thing is the infrastructure for hydrogen is so low in volume compared to electricity that it's not quite as viable yet and because the government's incentive is to push electric cars on you're going to see a lot more electrical charging points a lot more adaptable outlets for like your home all sorts like that especially if you're in a rural area like i am to add to my point earlier the fact that the engine burns the hydrogen whilst also taking in oxygen from the air to cool the components um, means that it will produce a certain amount of nitrogen oxide obviously polluting the environment by a minute amount uh, it's not going to be too much of a problem though but like I said about the infrastructure of hydrogen just isn't there yet you need to pump a lot of money into this speaking about alternatives Volkswagen has been using um, synthetic fuels for years now, especially past Dieselgate, so we could actually see um, alternate fuels and um, you know biofuels and all sorts of stuff like that in the future. Uh, Porsche have also been using uh, synthetic fuels in experiments and stuff for models such as the 911, and it is quite a viable option, but obviously it's chemical engineering, so it's um, a lot more complicated than just mining fossil fuels and converting them into petrol or diesel. But I'm no scientist, so uh, I'd say look that one up, guys. What are your opinions on this? Please write them down in the comments and I'll read them. Uh, thank you very much for watching this short video. Please like, share and subscribe, and peace.